Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, January 31st, 2024. I usually release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. For the next few weeks, it's going to be Wednesday and Sunday. This is episode 792 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. If you're wondering where I am, I'm at my in-laws in a province called Gamao, which is about 360 kilometers southwest of Saigon. And this is pretty much their backyard. It is just absolutely gorgeous this time of the day, which is in the morning, just right after sunrise. It's about 6.30 in the morning now. It's very calming and soothing to be out here, especially in the mornings. And my father-in-law actually catches fish and prawn out here, and we grill them and eat them for lunch and dinner. Okay, on with today's show. In today's episode, two chapters from the new Jingyong Wuxia Universe Pass review. So does Created in China, the modern drama starring Zhang Xincheng and Lorena Song. This is unexpected considering Lorena was involved in a tax scandal not long ago. Dil Raba and Xiao Chan make the 2023 Top 10 New Youth List. And Amidst a Snowstorm of Love releases a video clip showing Liu Wu and Angel Zhao training for the drama. But first, here's what's recently premiered, three dramas in the past three days. Starting with Sweet Trap, the modern drama starring Xie Bingbing and Zhang Miaoyi, it premiered on January 29th. According to Baidu, in the drama, Xie Bingbing is a celebrity chef called the Chef Assassin. Zhang Miaoyi is an apprentice to a rival culinary master. She goes undercover in the Chef Assassin's camp with the purpose of reclaiming the prestigious five-star kitchen knife, but ends up falling into his trap. Sweet Trap is slated for 24 episodes and is available on Wii TV with English subs. Then there's The Happy Seven in Chang'an, starring Ma Tianyu and Pu Guanjing. It premiered on January 30th. According to Baidu, in the drama, Pu Guanjing is a small-town girl who unexpectedly becomes the heiress of a local magnate, but instead of inheriting a fortune, she's left with massive debts. One of those coming to collect is Ma Tianyu, a noble. The two of them and a few others, including a scholar, a martial hero, and two princesses escaping marriages, find themselves gathered at the magnate's mansion and trying to figure out how to solve each other's conundrums. The Happy Seven in Chang'an is slated for 24 episodes and is available on Wii TV with English subs. Lastly, there's Fighting for Love, a costume drama starring Crystal Zhang and Zhang Haowei. It premiered earlier today. In it, Crystal is Amai, an official's daughter who witnesses her entire family get killed by her childhood sweetheart. Now an adult, she disguises herself as a man and wanders the lands to seek vengeance. During a chance encounter, she rescues the crown princess's son, played by Chang Haowei, and helps him out of many predicaments. She also joins the military and eventually becomes a general and a goddess of war. Fighting for Love is slated for 36 episodes and is available on Aichi Yi with English subs. That's it for premiere dates. Moving on, dramas that recently passed review. I have a few to update on today. Starting with Gone with the Wind, a modern drama starring Tong Yao and Zhang Xincheng. It passed review and got an online record number on January 22nd. Tong Yao's last starring role in a drama was a while back, 2022's Life is a Long Quiet River, whereas Zhang Xincheng last starred in 2023's Young Blood Season 2. In Gone with the Wind, Tong Yao is Nanya, the most beautiful woman in town who was suspected of killing her husband with an axe. Zhang Xincheng is a university dropout who returns home and inadvertently becomes the sole witness to the case. The drama is slated for 28 episodes and will stream on Youku. Now then, New Jingyong Wuxia Universe is an upcoming Wuxia drama series featuring the likes of Zhou Yiwei, Van Gogh Gao, Peter Ho, and many others. It has a total of 60 episodes and is divided into 5 chapters, each chapter helmed by a different director. Recently, two of its chapters passed review. The first is Hot-Blooded, Tieshue Danqing, which stars Chi Sha, Bao Shangen, and Wang Hongyi. It passed review and obtained an online record number on January 18th. It is slated for 30 episodes and will stream on Tencent. So far, I haven't been able to find a synopsis. The second chapter is Eastern Heretic and Western Venom, Dong Xie Xi which stars Zhou Yiwei, Van Gogh Gao, and Chen Duling. It passed review and obtained an online record number on January 25th. It is slated for just 8 episodes and will air on Tencent. No synopsis as well, but Dong Xie Xi has been made before. 
It was a 1994 Hong Kong film called Ashes of Time. It was written and directed by Wong Kawai, who recently did Blossom Shanghai, and inspired by characters from Jing Yong's novel The Legend of the Condor Heroes. Leslie Cheung and Tony Leung Kafai were the leads. The film follows the main antagonist, Ouyang Feng, played by Leslie Cheung, from the novel The Legend of the Condor Heroes, when he is a young man crossing paths with other important characters. The movie humanizes Feng and depicts the events that lead to his descent into villainy. The other chapters in the new Jingyong Wuxia Universe series include Southern Emperor and Northern Beggar, Duel on Mount Hua, and Nanyin True Sutra. I will continue to update on these as they pass review. Also passing review recently was Railway Police starring Bai Jingting, Ding Yongdai, and Gina Jin. I had previously referred to it by its Chinese title's literal translation, Going North and South. The retro drama got a distribution license for 40 episodes on January 18th. The drama had wrapped their almost 5-month film shoot in April last year. 5 months is longer than what most Chinese dramas usually film for. In Railway Police, which is set in the 70s, Bai Jingting is Wang Xing, a railway public security officer who battles criminals ranging from pickpockets to kidnappers. The drama is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on iQiyi. Lastly and unexpectedly for dramas that recently passed review, created in China. The drama stars Zhang Xingcheng and Lorena Song, and I say unexpectedly because Lorena Song was involved in a tax controversy not that long ago. In August last year, reports surfaced that the 25-year-old actress had been accused of tax evasion. The whistleblower, said to be a former employee, allegedly revealed that the actress had evaded taxes to the tune of 45 million RMB, approximately 6.2 million USD. Lorena has not responded to any of it. In fact, she's gone silent on Weibo since. As well, none of her upcoming dramas, including this one, The Prisoner of Beauty, have aired. There have been no updates on their progress until recently. Reportedly, Created in China reduced its episode total to 35 from 40 and passed review on January 28th. It has yet to receive its distribution license, however. That should come soon, though. According to Baidu, the drama begins in the late 90s and follows Zhang Xingcheng's character, a young overseas returnee who wants to modernize his father's old machinery factory with leading technology, but faces financial problems. Things look brighter when he meets Lorena Song's character, a straightforward and intelligent bank loan officer through a blind date arranged by his father. I will update again if and when created in China actually gets its distribution license. And that's it for drama updates. Before we get to celebrity updates, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in. So I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. Moving on now, celebrity updates. Today, we begin with a quick mention of Del Raba and Xiao Chan. The popular stars were recently commended by their country. They were included in the 2023 Top 10 New Youth List, a list compiled by the China Internet Information Center. The list commended people aged 22 to 45 in a wide range of fields including culture, science and technology, performing arts, etc. After public online voting and expert offline review to ensure fairness, the results were announced on January 29th. Next up, here's a video I came across recently featuring the cast of Amidst a Snowstorm of Love, thought I'd share. Amidst a Snowstorm of Love stars Leo Wu and Angel Zhao. The billiards-themed drama is set to premiere in a couple of days' time. Yesterday, they shared this 5.5 minute video clip hashtagged Amidst a Snowstorm of Love Billiards Special. It showcases the main cast doing what the producer calls professional and serious billiards training for the show. According to the instructor, they started with very basic training like positioning, hand bridge, and grip. I spent a lot of time training, Leo said, to grasp a professional's posture and movements. Director Yu Po revealed that the 24-year-old actor wanted to do all the shots himself as opposed to using a double, and demanded a lot from himself and that the result was very good. 
Before this, I didn't know anything at all about billiards, Angel revealed. It was literally like starting from zero. During training, I tried to get a feel for my character, the pro. Weepo revealed that the 21-year-old actress was very quiet. He said that she was very good at tuning everything out so she could focus. Lastly, now for celebrity updates, here are some images and videos I came across recently. There are some stars on the sets of their currently filming costume dramas. Beginning with Zhou Ye and Cheng Lei on the set of their latest drama, Legend of the Female General. Here they are filming what looks like a wedding scene. Both are draped in auspicious red and are conversing casually as they prepare for a shot. Legend of the Female General started filming in November last year. Then there's Arthur Chen and Wang Yinglu in their latest drama, Xian Yu, also known as Offering Salted Fish to Master, which started filming in December last year. Here, Arthur is filmed in a red and black robe, making his way to set. Here is Wang Yinglu in light blue, looking on as the crew sets up a shot. Lastly, there's this one of Zhao Lusi on the set of The Legend of Jewelry. In the scene she's filming, her character is putting in hard work, dragging a cart at what looks like a wooden dock. In the drama, she plays a slave at a pearl farm who runs away and meets a ruthless merchant played by Liu Yuning. They started filming in November last year. And that's it for celebrity updates. While I usually do this on Thursdays, we're on vacation schedule right now, so it's time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the Top 10 Chinese Web and TV Dramas of the Week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. To recap, last week's top web drama was Sword and Fairy starring Xu Kai and Esther Yu. And the top TV drama was Love and Dur starring Yang Zi and Fan Cheng Cheng. I don't really see any dramas dethroning these champions this week. Amidst a snowstorm of love may shoot right to the top of the daily charts after it premieres on February 2nd, but it will come way too late to place high this week. Look out for it next week though. So that's Sword and Fairy and Sword and Fairy 4 to remain champion this week. What do you guys think? And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. It also brings us to the end of this episode. Before I let you guys go, just want to say that I'm not following any dramas at the moment. Just want to enjoy the Vietnamese countryside and food while I'm here. But I might check out Amidst a Snowstorm of Love when it premieres if I have a moment. I'm interested to see how the billiards side of it turns out. Have a great week and I'll see you guys Sunday. As always, stay safe and I wish you clear blue skies, good health and happiness. Until next time, cheers!